Good evening and welcome to the Wobberman Dragonfly News. I'm your host, Dan Druff. Stories making headlines tonight. Why homework is good for you. What one town in Alberta is doing to celebrate Pi Day. And what teachers really do in their spare time. But first, a local basketball team defies all odds and wins a hot dog eating contest. Congratulations, boys. I bet you had great coaches. Wait, breaking news just in. This reporter has just learned of an incident that has occurred overseas. Let's go live to security footage capturing this incident. Scientists were working on a cure for the ailment known as iridocyclitis when a freak accident occurred. The results were symptoms such as aggression and increased cannibalism. We have also received a compilation of footage from cell phones and street cameras. Please be advised that some of the following images may be disturbing for younger viewers. As you can see, there are people running wild through the streets. Families are being split apart. The military has even been called in. There's been explosions and riot squads, and population has already been devastated. You can see from this here that the projected loss is going to be in the billions. As you can see, the Middle East is slowly being overtaken by these sick people, these transformed humans. These zombies! Hold it. I just received word from the Canadian government. We need all of you to begin preparing for the coming zombie apocalypse. We need your math, science, language arts, and yes, even social study skills to prepare you and your families and the rest of Canada for survival. Do you have what it takes? <laughs> 